rich and powerful. They promote violence, death, and addiction. According to law enforcement agencies, they represent a new level of organized crime. These young men head up the beginnings of a new mafia, a new mafia that rivals the ruthlessness of Al Capone and his gangster henchmen of the 1920s. They head up drug dealing operations that are based in Los Angeles and are spreading across the nation. They have direct ties to street gangs and Colombia drug cartels. They're known on the streets as high rollers. Drug dealers pushing kilos of cocaine worth billions. But they're low key, not flashing. Some even say they dress like cops. This is all part of their mystery. That and the fact that they repeatedly escape arrest. Their allies, 74 street hoopers, great streets, bounties, rolling 60s. Different crimps and blood gangs all pardon together to flood the streets with crack. Reputed high roller drug dealer Rick Ross moved his way up in the drug trade so far and so fast, he's earned the nickname Freeway Rick. And then, in other news, President Reagan will meet with his top advisors to discuss the new tax initiative. Damn, you see that motherfucking fool coming outside the house? Damn, that motherfucker was close, close, close. Nah. Man, you's a bad motherfucker. If I may say so myself. Uh, yeah. Boy, you don't need shit else for your body. All I want to do, man, is get some dates for my six. <gasps> hey, I want to go this motherfucker to the alley on 89. What alley? Over by the freeway. You know, I mean, all you need is the wheels, right? No, I need the whole front end off this motherfucker, man. In fact, you know what? I wish I could take the hydraulics off my car and put them on this one. The governor. The governor. The governor can do that shit. Let's take it right, to the right, governor. Right, right. Man, I'm hungry. Yeah, man, let's go to Burger Dan. You always hungry. See, I can't steal cars all night. Wake up early in the morning, steal some more. Danny, you gotta be crazy. Governor, quit tripping. Man, you tripping. Now let's go. And both of y'all tripping, man. Let's go before the police come. For sure. Let's go, nigga. Come on. Even young gangsters like OG and Little X had money in their pocket. I couldn't even afford a 69 cent Dan burger from Burger Dan. Later on, them same two young gangsters became part of the crew. And put that second cheeseburger in a separate bag for my homie. It'll be 162. Hey, yes, say what the fuck y'all think y'all doing, huh? Hey, no comprende. Bet you comprende. I blow your bean apart in the head off this motherfucker, huh? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Look, I'm busy right now. I'm gonna give you two Taco Bell. These motherfuckers are passing. Get on. Okay, I mean. Yeah, okay. Get up out of here. Turn the back 
Turn the battery in. Hey, hook that, that battery up, man. Hey, where T at, man? What up, nigga? Where T at, nigga? He stole my man? car. T, what the fuck you talking about, man? Oh, yeah, play dumb if you want to, nigga. You don't want my motherfucking car. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hey, man, what's all this about? What's up? What's what's hey, nigga, hold up, nigga. What you tripping on, nigga? Hold up, homie. Yo, back your low ass What you up, tripping nigga? on, nigga? Mama, you hear that? No, I didn't hear nothing. That's that bullshit, nigga. That. My motherfucking car. Fuck your car. You crying around here, nigga. Okay, you niggas think I'm playing, huh? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, you better back your low ass up, too, nigga. Yeah. And, nigga, and I'll be back and I won't. You, you lucky you got that shit in your hand. Man, fuck that shit, Rick. Y'all can't believe this fool and tripped out like that. Y'all think that motherfucker over at the chicken spot? Man, I ain't worried about it, baby. This nigga be on Century in Vermont every Sunday. Man, this shit is crazy. Fuck that shit, Rick. Look what that motherfucker did to my head. Man, this shit can't go down like that. Let's just whack that fool and get on, man. See, we don't have to get into all that, man. Rick, if you let this motherfucker get away with this, Every nigga this side of Broadway gonna think he can do this type of shit. We got to make an example out of this motherfucker, Rick. I'm with Big D on this shit. Let's go smoke this motherfucker. See, that's what I'm talking about. Look at this bitch. Damn. Hoover Street, you sold a block. You didn't play by the rules. You was bound to get got straight out of kicking these motherfuckers from off the set without a set. Ripping up the set, gang bang. So what you got, my nigga? Here, check this out. <laughs> Look like some white girl here. We don't know if that shit is real. Can you tell her if it's real? Yeah, we figured if anybody knew, you do. Yeah. So what y'all doing with this shit anyway? Trying to make some money. Trying to make some money? Yeah, man, niggas is broke. Nigga, this is a rich man's high, man. I hope you niggas know what y'all getting yourselves into, because there ain't no rich motherfuckers in South Central. <laughs> Check this out. I'm going to burn this shit on this mirror. If it dries to a clog, it's real. If it come back liquid, it's fake. So it's real. Yeah, it looks that way. Because, um, I can't tell how good it is unless I take a blast. Well, look at me, nigga, hit the shit. Hey, baby, I'll get my shit, baby. You like that shit? That's a nice shit. Yeah, you wouldn't know what to do with it. Uh -huh. Set the motherfucking cap down, man. Set it down, motherfucker. Well, you know. Give me some fire.
Hey, you all right, man? It's all good, man. Y'all get the shit from me anyway. From an old friend of mine. You get some more? Yeah. Mafia was a respected pimp slash killer. He was always doling out words of wisdom. His five-year-old daughter was killed in a gangland drive-by shooting on 82nd in Normandy. He didn't really give a fuck about people in general, but he always looked out for the homies in the neighborhood. And we knew we could trust him. Some good shit. You like it. You gotta keep on getting good shit like, just like this, man, if you wanna stay in pocket. You be done to help us move? You mean sell it? Yeah. Man, let me give you niggas some advice. If you're gonna be selling this shit, man, you cannot fuck with it. Uh, so I had this partner, man, my nigga Big P from the east side. He rolled this motherfucker for a kilo. Well, he was the man for a minute until he started using. See, uh, this shit fucked up his whole life, man. See, the police didn't even know what was going on down here till that motherfucking movie Superfly came out. That movie gave up the drawings on how all the drugs went down the ghetto. All I'm saying is, if you're gonna sell this shit, don't use it. You know, I can make some big bank with this shit. So where y'all gonna be at? My mom's, you know, by the freeway. Yeah, well, uh, you stay down, man. Go easy on that shit, homie. Ah, gang time, gang time. <laughs> Shit, what's up there, right? <laughs> Good game, man. All right. Good game, homie. Yo, that's it for me, man. Me too, man. I'm done with this here. Woo. Hey, you want to grab? I grabbed him on the way out. What was that? Six games? Yeah, man. These dogs, man, these feet are killing me, Rick. You know, this cocaine thing, man. I think it might be the beginning of something big. I don't know if we should mess around. I'm feeling it, man. I think we can make a few thousand, get back to mom's in the hood, get in the kind of car we want, man. What kind of car you want? All I want, man, is a six-fold drop top. That's it. <laughs> you get what you want, and then we stop. I think we should throw another party at the club. Raise some money. What you think? All right, man. Well, let's seriously pursue this thing. Let's do it. You never know. All right? You ready? Yep. I began to realize that if we ever started to make some real money, we were never going to stop. We were broke. I look around the neighborhood. The hood was broke. I figured if we made some money, we could put some back into the neighborhood. I mean, we was the one who had to live here. Rot your damn teeth out. You know mom's gonna trip about this here, right? Hey, what's happening, my nigga? Hey, 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 what's up? Yeah, my two homeboys, man. The main man, Big Mouse. Mm, what's up, Larry? This right. ain't been uh, caveman. What's up? All right. Yeah, man, you better handcuff your hole if you see these two pimps together. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up? Cutty Rick, I've been hearing a lot about y'all brothers. Y'all coming up, man. Mm -hmm. Right on. Yeah. I just, mm -hmm. I just wanna turn the brother on, man. I've been seeing you around, man. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Go around the corner. Yeah. They'll take care of y'all back there. Cool. Oh, they got some jokes, yeah? So good. Word up. <laughs> it's all good, right? Right on. Sure. 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 S
for me to be in these streets slipping. And life is too short for me to be out there set tripping. But if you see me, I'm thinking of the if you're curious about why people called us the Freeway Boys, it wasn't because we were fast or we drove fast cars. It was because we all lived near the 110 Freeway. That's a lot of money, man. All the motherfucking years our moms worked and shit. They ain't never seen no motherfucking like that. Never thought about it like that. <laughs> I never thought about it like that. Yeah. <sighs> Woo! Two months ago, man, we was knocking cars. Now we got all this money. Buy anything we want. That's the way I feel. Make a man tell me, man, it's time to take this shit to the next level. Turn this shit around. Make a million. All right, no matter what. First rule we promise to each other. What's that? We never fall out over this. I got your back. No matter what. We expand. You sure about this? What else we gonna do? Go back to stealing cars and shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I really don't know. Tell you what, though. We take care of our family while we got the chance. See, I'm with that. I'm with that. Let's make that shit happen. We started slinging cocaine all over LA. We met everybody and most people we knew were either selling it or smoking it. Because this lifestyle was something we had to adjust to. How you doing? What's your name? My name is Veronica. Why? Because I want to get to know you. Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not. You know what? Can you give me your phone number? Sorry, I can't do that. Why not? Because I don't have a phone. What's going on with you? Nothing. Uh-uh. Really? Hey, check this out. You got some girls? No, you ain't got no girlfriend. You know what, you? You much too pretty to be walking around these streets. I'm going to my aunt's house. Is that right? Yeah. What's your name? I don't even know what your name is. My name is Rick. You know what? Can I give you my phone number? Yeah. I didn't really think about having a girlfriend. I mean, but you know how shit works sometimes. When me and Veronica met, my heart, it pounded like a drum. When I seen her beautiful caramel skin, her eyes, and her eyes were as if you could get lost in them. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't be wasting my time. I'm wasting your time? Just make sure you call me. All right, I'll call. Yeah. I got big plans for us. What sort of plans? Huge plans. Oh, yeah? Big old ones, like, <laughs> huge. All right. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so do you. Thanks for the gift. You know what? Now that things are working out for us, I think we should start thinking more about the future. So what are you saying? You want to exchange wedding vows? <laughs> Did they get all over you? Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny anyway? Uh, what was I saying? You oh. said you want to exchange wedding vows. No, you said that. <laughs> OK, then tell me what's on your mind. Uh, I just think we should start thinking more about the present, you know? Tell me what's on your mind. OK, check this out. <clears throat> Let's me and you live together. You serious? Yeah. I mean, I need somebody around. You know? Somebody I can trust. <laughs> I mean, that's cool and everything, but did you give my needs a thought? <laughs> Every day I wake up in the morning. Every time I lay down to go to sleep, even when I'm supposed to be thinking about other stuff. Most of the time, I'm thinking about your needs. Mm. I didn't know you could trust me. I mean, we've only known each other. What, six months? Trust ain't measured in days and nights. It's really not. Come here. Go ahead. I'm gonna kiss you. Why? Come here. What? Stop playing. Come here. You stupid. You so silly. Listen, you know what? Um, I'm gonna go make a phone call. back from Fox Hills Mall. I got you something nice, whether or not you wear it. <laughs> yeah, you coming home tonight? Yeah, I got a meeting. Uh, I miss you. I love you so much. I love you too. I just had to go call Veronica. What's up, smell your man? I'm smelling love all over you, brother. Oh, come on, man. You know me better than that. Let's be here. Oh. Damn. Here we go. Gentlemen. How you doing? Ricky. Right, Ricky, right. Ricky, nice to meet you. Good. I've been hearing very things about you, Ricky. Very good things. And I'm in a position to take very good care of you and your friends. I can make you both millionaires in six months. No shit. No shit. <gasps> Cocaine 
is worth more than gold these days. You know how heroin was the drug of the 60s. Cocaine is the drug of the 80s. And America is not prepared for the phenomenon that cocaine is going to cause. The potential is enormous. More wealth for you and your families than you could ever earn at a mere nine to five job. <laughs> My friend, I'm going to make you a fucking superstar. So what do we have to do? No. Huh? Exactly what you have been doing up to now. But now, you will have cheap prices, good product, and no trouble. That's how we're going to market you. Cheap, good, and easy. But you have to be smart. Let me tell you a little story. There were these two friends of mine, both worth five million dollars. One friend wore a ton of jewelry and drove the hottest cars. The other friend wore dirty clothes and drove old cars all the time. So when things got hot, which friend do you think lasted the longest? You know, we have a saying in my country, el mono no caga donde duerme el cocodrilo. The monkey don't shit where the crocodile sleeps. Do we understand each other? Yeah? Yeah. So you just keep dealing with your same guy. But call me on Friday. And I'll set you up right. We were in the big time. Do we have a deal? Oscar is the son of a wealthy real estate mogul, a Harvard graduate with an MBA in marketing. Put it like this. He didn't use his marketing skills to run some Fortune 500 company. Good news. I think I found our guy. His name is Ricky. See, Oscar, South Central Los Angeles will be a very profitable source to obtain the funds we need. But the agency will not authorize first payment until your contact has been met. Met in this. I have faith in this, Ricky. He's ambitious and naive. He says he can recruit 10 or 15 gang members to help him move the merchandise. And he can flood all of South Central Los Angeles in six months. So I figure in six months to a year, we should have the first $10 million to continue to finance the war. Our war. <laughs> Stop being Oscar. But be careful. You know how those blacks can be animals sometimes. <laughs> Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. So make this be trouble, make this money. Keep patience, heavy weights up in this game. Hey niggas, be slam fools on the daily for them large figures. The CEO of pure snow and bad business. Speaking of business, now what's up with the model? Stick them up and take that shit. It's time clowning, dangerous nigga. Scheming undesirable nigga. Who does hustlers, busters, gangster delinquents? Don't be no trick. You be a Mac without sipping. Deposit my hooves and groove with Oscar delivered 100 kilos of cocaine worth millions. He got them for 10,000 a key. Now everyone knows keys go for 20,000. He gave us consignment on the second big shipment, and we paid him a million cash for the first shipment of 100 birds. I was getting paid, so I went and bought me some books on tape, audio cassettes, because I never learned how to read. Hey, what's up, big dick? What's up, dick? Hey, that's on tight, nigga. Hey, man, don't be tripping on these broads tonight, man, all right? I am trying to fuck. Let's get that nigga. The fuck y'all niggas doing, man? 
Oh, nothing, Big D. Just trying to call us call some hoes, man. Man, man quit fucking around. Push this big ass over. We all quit playing? We all leave that man alone? Let him sleep. Shit, man. This fat ass nigga sleep through anything. Damn. The bad around couldn't wake his ass. That's it. You got a minute? What's going on? <clears throat> no, let me tell her, Mama. Look, Rick, we ain't trying to run no games or nothing like that, all right? All right. But shit, we tired of these fools out here always trying to get something for nothing. Shit, and I'm tired of breaking myself for a fucking loser. Mm. I want to be on the winning team. And I'm straight out choosing you. Is it right? All these pimps are all out here smoking rock. Me and my baby ain't trying to deal with any of that. You know what I'm saying? I hear you, Mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, from now on, I'm yours. And I know I'm the baddest hoe around here. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Look, it's all good, man. Me and the homies will take care of y'all. But we gonna get something straight, though. I ain't no pimp. But I ain't running no rest haven for hoes, either. All right, that's cool. We gotta get the fuck out of here. You ain't gotta run from them. Just tell them you with me now. Well, go ahead, go on inside. I gotta talk to these cats. I'll be in there in a minute. Hey, you wanna party, baby? Yeah, you wanna party? Hey. <laughs> I took Peaches and her mama off the street and put them in an apartment on 81st Street with the homie. It's crazy. If I said she you had me, your ass is heavy. Man. We couldn't believe it. It was like inventing a new product. Crips and Bloods came and every other gang came from all over to buy from us. Places like Inglewood, Compton, Watts, San Bernardino, Las Vegas, San Diego, Sacramento. Sneak up on <laughs> Come on, baby. I was watching you. <laughs> what you doing? I made your favorite breakfast. My favorite. Mm, food. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. Mm, you like? I thought you know how to cook like this. Well, when I was 16, my grandmother, she used to, um, she was cooking all the time, and I was just like, Grandma, you know this is just too good, and you need to be teaching me how to cook. When she really finally realized I was serious about it, she um, she taught me how to cook. Here's your clothes. You know what? I want to get in the shower first. All right. Damn! I'm late for work. What? Wait a minute. What was that? I'm late. Every day, I look in the mirror. I don't know if I like what I see. Self-preservation is a natural instinct. Who knows? Maybe one day things will change. I tell everyone else, you gotta love what you do to be successful. 
Some shit went down at TT's. I ain't even sweating that, man. No, it's just so everybody know. TT was running a spot on Main, and some cats set up shop right across the street. And that wasn't even cool. It wasn't cool at all. If you remember the rules, you'll last longer. Hey, Rick. You can go this way. OK. Let's go handle this. What's up, baby? Who this? Right. This is my man. He all right. Fellas. Yeah, Papa. It's a take nine. This one's cheap. Go for about 200 for you. Listen, how many guns do you really have inside this thing? Quite a few, man. Hold on, let me show you something. It's a SKF, semi-automatic. 30 in the clip, one in the hole. Brother ain't got this kind of firepower on the street. I understand all that, Billy. How much you want for all this stuff? Let me see. And I want the mobile home, too. I have to have a mobile home. Mobile home for sale, bro. Come on, Billy. Come on, it's a piece of shit. Look at it. You got plastic holding the door together. Give me 10000 for all the guns, and I'll throw in a few hand grenades. And you'll throw in the mobile home. Oh, home for sale, bro. Man, what's up? I can't get a gun or what? I... Nobody's selling him a gun, all right? What's up with that, man? I'm just, just, gonna... just messing with you, man. I told you I'd take care of you. Don't worry about it. Yeah. As long as you promise not to shoot nobody. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. Well, hold up. Let me see. I still need the mobile home, too. We bought all the Big Willie's guns, <laughs> but we never had to use them. Most of them got impounded when we left them in the trunk of a car on 88th Street. That's the important thing is, you know, motherfuckers knew we had heat. Now well, we used the rest of them to go to the target range on weekends in Compton, let off steam. I don't think you got the right to be confronting these niggas like that. I mean, they're my homies, and they're serious about their money. They money. They money. Sounds to me like you scared, Mafia. Hey, fool, I'm a real killer, man. I've been killing niggas since the early 70s, man. Now, you know that, big mousy. And even a nigga like you know better to be talking that kind of shit to a nigga like me. I keep a pistol, man. Now, you niggas go on out there and fuck with Rick's people if you want to. I'm trying to tell you something. Young niggas will kill you before an old nigga even think about it. You've been killing niggas since the 70s. We've been mm. pimping since 77. So what's happening, man, is my bottom bitch, she's on dope, Mafia. She can't even concentrate on her job no more, man. You know, if my bitches can't control them drugs, I'm gonna have to send all them hoes to the rehab. You ain't no real pimp! You gonna go check them young fools. Now you coming, or what? Y'all have at it. Come on, Nelson. You disappoint me, man. Thought you was a real pimp. Yeah, you just let me know where you want your body buried, motherfucker. Yo. What's up with you fools, man? What the fuck you mean, what's up, man? Nigga, I mean, don't be selling my bitch that shit, you understand, nigga? Hold on, hold on, dog. You see any of my hoes, nigga, walk it down, figure a hoe, nigga? Let them pass, nigga, let them pass. Nigga, fuck hold on, nigga, back up, nigga. What the fuck you talking You ready to die or something, nigga? Okay. I'm old Scarface niggas, okay? So that's how it's gonna be, yeah, nigga? nigga? That's how the fuck it is, homeboy. You know, man, sometimes I sit here and I look out this and I realize it's all right, man. Yeah. It's all right. Let me ask you a question, man. You think, um, we're making the right investments? 
Well, we got the motel, the junkyard, real estate. We rolling. You know, what more can we do? <laughs> I gotta make this shit legit. How? Oh. Start a record label. Sponsor tennis. Yeah. Have you realized, man, we made over $2 million? I was just thinking about that, man. <sighs> Remember at the house? I showed you that stack, and I said we should never let this shit come between us. Let's walk away. Right now. It's up to you. I'm tired of looking over my shoulder. Me too. Bet. <laughs> so me and Loke invested in the community. We bought new fiberglass backboards for the park, and we sponsored all the kids that played tennis. 75, 76, 77, Later on, Big Mousey and his henchman Caveman became real cool with the homies and was so strung out on rock, if you gave Big Mousey a 50 rock, he'd get down and do 100 push-ups. What's going on here, huh? Line up. You guys know what the fuck to do. Come on, bud. Line up. Let's go. Damn, we ain't do nothing. That's right. No one ever does anything. Hands behind the neck. Yeah, what's that? What's this, lunch money? What do we got here? A bunch of fucking doctors? I told you I ain't got nothing. Oh, yeah? What's this? You've been arrested before, haven't you? What for? Different shit. Different shit. Different shit like what? I don't know what the fuck you guys are doing, but when I find out, some of you all, you're going to jail. Now get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you guys look pretty. Have a nice day. Deputy Solar, for those who do not know me, this task force has been formed for one reason and one reason only, gentlemen. And that's the reason. This man has sold more than six million dollars worth of cocaine right underneath our noses. And then we've got direct orders from upstairs that we can shoot to kill. In my briefs, it states that nobody knows where to find him. Is that true? That's why the Sheriff Department and LAPD are here together. Gentlemen, we have to stop this. Any questions? Yeah. Yes, sir. If we put all this pressure on these other guys, won't that scare him off? You know, this guy's like a fucking little rat. I don't think he can read or spell. But let me tell you one thing, gentlemen. He's a fucking fast rat. And if you see him, don't you dare hesitate. You near me, I'm a hustler, hustler. Bitch, nigga, I'm a hustler, hustler. Yeah, it's like I always been hustling. Green rag banger, ain't never switch buster. I see a fat changer, can include the two team player. Huh, hey, what's what? They fucked up the scene that goes hand in hand. They fucked up the dream. So, big love.
What's up? How much you paid for that badass Benz parked out front? It was a gift. Why? Well, you know, a nigga like me gotta have it. Everything's for sale, my friend. <laughs> I got 40,000 cash. Said it's mine. Fort. Hey, you ain't got to count it. I'm gonna count it to make sure ain't no ones inside. Inside there, man. 45 and it's yours. I'm your homie. I know you the homie. But I said 45. I gotta bring it back later. Get the homie keys, man. Yeah, alright. Hey, Joe. Joe. What the fuck are you? Hey, hey, Joe. Let's talk about yeah, this. Hey, he's up. Yeah, he's now up. Yeah, let's talk about this. Fuck off. Officer Miller had a reputation for beating and robbing drug dealers. Well, this time he got smoked trying to take money from the wrong nigga. What are you and me? No shit. That a bitch. We're gonna have to bring uh, Ricky Ross and the uh, Freeway Boys down. Yeah, you know, Rick hangs mostly in the Hoover territory. Mm -hmm. But he also frequents the Grape Street and the Blood territories. He's got connections with all the violent gangsters in the geographical area, though. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something. Here's an old photo of him. I mean, but how many assholes look like this guy, huh? Fucking everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this time, he's not gonna get away with you. I want to put a bullet between his eyes. You too? You gotta catch him first. Yeah, look what we got here. Well, 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 if it isn't the free way girls. Bitch ass cops won't now. Who are you talking to? Right. Damn it, time I see y'all talk. Get the fuck off of me! Get your punk ass on the ground! Yeah. What, 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 what the fuck, man? What huh? the fuck? What? Oh. Is that right? Get your motherfucking hands on the ground. Oh. Uh, against the wall. Uh. Put your hands on your back. What? Ah. Get down! Get on your knees. I know this shit belongs to one of you assholes. Who's this? Come on, sir, that's a lot of money. This came from the pool table. Who's this? Oh. 
<laughs> Look what I got. We just came up. Is this yours? No, it's not. Shut the fuck up. Right. <coughs> I'm gonna ask you once. Where's Rick? I don't know, man. Shit. Get on the fucking ground, face first. Get on the fucking ground. Man, I'm on my knees. Fuck you. Fuck me, huh? Huh? No. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck, fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. This is your lucky day, girls. Because we're going to give you a break. Each one of you should have done 10 under the new law. Narcotics officers were accused of skimming 1.4 million in seized drug money and assault and battery on our friends. Solar couldn't explain the new Mercedes Benz. This is it. This is it. This one? Yeah, I'll take this one. Cash. Of course cash. Everyone's been paying cash these days. My last five sales have all been cash deals. Yeah. Give me a deal. They definitely crossed that thin blue line like a motherfucker. He that violates his oath profanes divinity of faith itself. Cicero. Solar got a piece of the pie. Shiesty is a word we use to describe someone who is corrupt by nature, but that word didn't come from Solar or his friends. That word came from a small time stick up artist slash pimp slash crip named Shiesty Mike. Check out the genius here. Let's take this piece of shit. No, not yet. I know he's in there. Who's the guy on the porch? Nah, he's a fucking nobody. Small time. We need to take a look inside. What for? We haven't done anything. This is gonna sound crazy, but we believe this Christmas tree was stolen. Get the tree. Do you know anything about this? Well, no. The trail to this tree leads exactly to your house. Come on now. You're harassing us and you know it. This is not right at all. I mean, you can tell your side of the story to the judge tomorrow morning. Man, that's fucked up. Hey. Fake-ass police always fucking with somebody. You see all these kids in here? Why don't y'all go fuck with somebody else? To watch your mouth, young lady. Man, whatever. Well, I could add obstructing justice to the charge. It's on you. Don't say anything else, baby. That's all right. The Lord will look after us. I'm fucked then. I said we going to jail. What for? Are we sitting stolen property and not shutting her up? What about the kids? Who's gonna watch the kids? That's fucked up. Oh, no, not the kids. Y'all taking the kids, too? Just do it, man. Why don't you just shut up? Just no consideration for the elders. Man, you can't do that can't fit that car, man. Do it, I feel Why y'all gotta take the kids? Oh, y'all need to be up in there. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Just back off. I gathered everybody here tonight because I got a lot on my mind. And I can't pick a better time to address it. The end is moving closer. Things are changing more and more. And I feel a sense of responsibility for what Rick and I have brought y'all into. This ain't no joke, fellas. Rick and I have already made a lot of money. 
We can quit today. But most of y'all can't. And we'll probably never see the money that we've made. So what I'm trying to say is, this shit, it ain't gonna last that much longer. Some of us in this room are not gonna live to see this year out. Some of us in this room are gonna go to prison for a long motherfucking time. Who do you mean? I don't know who. But whatever ends up happening, everything, I hope it happens to me. Because I don't wanna see shit happen to none of y'all. So if y'all don't see me no more, I want y'all to know one thing. I got love for y'all. Straight up. Those niggas who stay down for me. I only kick it with bitches who stay down for me. I'm paying tribute to those who stay down for me. Big respect to the ones who stay down for me. I only smoke with those niggas who stay down for me. I only kick it with bitches who stay down for me. I'm paying tribute. We ain't even strapped. Fuck this. Let's go back and get the gas. Man, they long gone. We stay here, they'll be back. Well, what the hell you say to that fool, nigga? and say shit to him. The younger homies in the freeway crew wasn't used to altercations with other gangsters. They would have never got our blessings, so they never came to us. They felt like they had an obligation to prove something. That's what that universal God force put together. You can walk in and touch anything, and just don't let them touch it, and it will communicate to you. Some of y'all know that Africans do it with trees. They can leave the moon as a message in a tree, and they come there five years later and get it. And now they want to tell us about an information highway. Guess when I almost catch up and find out who I am, they're going to trash me and tell me about some information. I'm the information Here. highway. Come on, boy. Here, mama, take it. What's all this? Here, just hold it for me, all right? Don't you be getting into no trouble now. I mean it. In fact, I think you ought to keep your little ass up in this house tonight. Why, mama? I'm not a little boy no more. So you say. But when you get in trouble, don't call me. I'm tired, Junior. I am just tired. You ain't got to worry about me. You ain't got to worry about me at all. Boy, I've been knowing you since before you know yourself. Tell me anything. I'm out, Mama. This was devastating to all of us. We don't know why he did it, the nigga just flipped out. The reality hit hard. Me and Loke felt responsible. It was a fucked up feeling to see Junior and Keith laying dead across the street in that car. Sir, I'm gonna have to see some identification. Hold on, man. For what? <clears throat> hey, hold on, man. Freeze! Freeze! Shoot! Move it! You ain't shoot my body, man. Move it! You ain't shoot my body. Hey, Rick! had a shoot to kill order on me. But then I was finally caught and went to jail. I was released after nine months on lack of evidence. The hood was smoking hot and the police were angry. So we went east. Months went by and Cincinnati wasn't expecting us. We all relaxed and decided we didn't want to be in the business anymore until I kept getting calls from Oscar. He would call three times a day what we didn't know was 
Oscar was now on the government payroll as an informant. The officer then made a long speech, often pointing towards something a long way off. And as I left, the emperor had decreed that I was to the capital of their country. Ricky, my friend, how are things in the Midwest? Everything's cool, man. Dude, why do you keep calling me? Well, I know you're trying to lay low, Ricky, but I need you, my friend. I truly do. Hey, what's up? No one could move product like you. I mean, nobody. I want you back, Ricky. I won't take no for an answer. Oscar, man, the feds are all over me. What? I mean, you know. In LA, yes, but what about the Midwest? You could do the same thing there that you did in L.A. And I'll get you the lowest prices. What do you say, my friend? You could make three times as much money in L.A., but hey, for you, I'll settle for second best. I don't know about this, man. I'm... I don't know. You know, I've, I've been thinking about it, man. And you know what? I made up my mind. I'm walking away. Ricky, 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 it's not like I'm asking you to kill anybody for me. It's not like you haven't before. Listen to me. You do this for me, and I will pay you back big time. Uh, I made up my mind, man. I'm walking away. Nigga, can't you smoke no black ass now? Get your ass up. Oh, I done seen panties before, man. It's time to make that move. What you doing? Call the homies. They gonna try the taxes. You just owe them money. Pay them their money. Man, why your broad always got something to say, man? Come on, man. It's just time to start handling our own business, man. What? I'm, I'm ready to do this. You scared or something? Oh, come on, man. Who you think you talking to? Man, I'm just saying, T, man. I'm trying to get this money, man. You know they ain't trying to see us come up. You know that. I mean, me, you, and Tanisha, we can go get that shit ourselves. I done did this shit before, man. We going to Cali? Can I go call a bus station, baby? Don't ever just walk in my motherfucking door like that, boy. Baby, you all right? Um, yeah, we can leave tonight on the 7 o'clock bus. All right, don't be bullshitting, Tanisha. This shit real, all right? I know how important this is. Why don't you go cook nigga something to eat, though, man? That's real. <laughs> nigga, please. You know, if that was my bitch, she be in the kitchen cooking. That's on my mama. Why don't you get a bitch? <laughs> what? Why <laughs> uh, are you always talking? Talking shit. That's all y'all do. Yo, baby. So we out of here tonight, right? Um, no problem. All right. Look, baby, there's nothing in the kitchen, so give me some money and I'm gonna run to the supermarket. I thought you would see that shit my way. Just make enough for me, because I'm a big eater. <laughs> can do this, Bob. Look, you've come this far. You can't turn back now. I'm counting on you. The agency is counting on you. I have a daughter to think about. She's only six. What if something happens in L.A.? Look, we're too close, Agent Thompson. This investigation has been going on for far too long to blow it now. You're not the one who has to sleep with this guy every night. I'm actually starting to get feelings for you know, when I took this job, I never could have imagined that it would turn out like this. Uh, it sucks. Look, you are a federal agent. So act like one and finish the assignment.
Hey, yo, take us to the Hilton first. April Hilton? Yeah. Here we go. Please, don't look at my car. What? I wait here, man. Go. Come on, man. Here, I'm paying you. Here, take it. Nah. Come back later. Later, come back. This bitch ass. Fucking on rack, racks, whatever y'all is. Bitch. Why don't you guys just let me talk to him, okay? Yeah, you're your business, baby. Um, sweetie. So y'all doing pretty good out there in the Midwest, huh? Yeah, well, you know, we doing all right. Damn. Who the freak? Y'all got him like that out there in Ohio? Say, homie, she ain't no freak. You see my girl. Man, fuck all that bullshit, man. Let's worry about this. All right. Here go the Lou right here. Hey, you sure your girl cool? I'm saying, because I don't trust none of these bitches out here, man. I'm dead serious. Man, one time this motherfucking bitch ran off with my shit, with the Jamaicans. I'm telling you, when I find that bitch again, it's on. Yo, look, man, I understand what you're saying, but Tanisha's cool. You know, she been living with a nigga and all that. Just come on, man, just get us our shit so we can jet out. You say she cool, she cool. You got something to say, baby? It look like you want to say something. No. See, the Jamaicans, they be getting money. They buy a bitch anything she want. Car, house, jewels, clothes, take her on trips. But they be fucking up the game. See, because a nigga like myself, I can't see myself spending all that motherfucking money on some pussy. Now, don't get me wrong, I like pussy just like you and the next nigga. But shit, nigga, I need my motherfucking paper. Nigga don't need shit, black, but a strap, my Cadillac, and don't need nothing over the bankroll. Um, excuse me, but we have a cab waiting outside. <laughs> oh, my bad, baby. Here you go, black boy. Hey, nigga. I'll give me some chips, nigga. Give me your eyes ain't even open good, yeah. And I'm glad we almost here, man. Long ass bus ride. I don't know about y'all, nigga. I'm taking a plane next time, nigga. That's on my dead auntie, nigga. It's real. T.T. G. What's up? G. What the fuck? Busted. Come on, dog. No, that ain't no real badge. This is some, this shit's some kind of joke, right, baby? Do what the agent says and make it easy on yourself. I will try to help you as much as I can. How the fuck could you do some shit like this? I thought you was my girl. Bitch, I thought we was in love. Come on, lock your fingers behind your head. Just do what the agent says, okay? I hope you ain't come up in this motherfucker thinking I'm a snitch. I'm guilty, I'll do my time. Boy, this ain't about you. This is much bigger than you. What you talking about, man? We want Freeway Ricky Ross and the rest of his crew. 
This shit's some kind of joke, right? I don't even, they don't even be talking to us like that. He ain't never, I don't even, man, I don't know what you talking about, man. Where that bitch at, man? What bitch? The bitch who got me up in this shit in the first place. The bitch who turned, nigga, all my shit. Man. Jeez, man. I'm gonna tell you like I told your boy TT. You forget about her. You got a bigger problem. Like how your punk ass gonna do 20 years. I can't do 20 years, man. Because to tell you the truth, I don't think I did 20 years worth of shit. So. No disrespect, officer, but can I see a lawyer or something? I don't got nothing else to say to you, man. That's cool, OG. Just hope you like sleeping on your stomach. What? This shit ain't over. I'm gonna give it to you straight. You don't have many options, my friend. Don't call me that, man. Call you what? My friend. You ain't my friend, man. Why you cops always coming with that bullshit? I'm, I'm sorry, that's right. You, you probably all broken up over Agent Thompson. Get over it. It's your life you have to think about. Who the fuck is Agent Thompson? You called her Tanisha? <laughs> that ain't a real name. So what now? Like I told you before, I'm gonna be as straight as I can with you. You're facing 20 years. Come on, man, you just saying that shit to scare me. I know the drill. Baby cops in LA use that same bullshit technique. See, right now you playing the role of the good cop, huh? With all that my friend shit. And in five minutes from now, some other motherfucker gonna walk through that door be talking big shit. Come on, man. I'm sitting here facing 20 motherfucking years. Give me a break. I'm trying to. You and OG are charged with racketeering, trafficking, possession, and conspiracy. In a nutshell, I say you both fucked. It's hard to believe that bitch set us up. I gave her everything she asked me for. It's incredible she turned out to be one of you motherfuckers. I mean, that bitch sucked my dick and we fucked every goddamn night. Every night. She a cop. <laughs> That's some shit. Look, you's a young man. For 20 years, ain't no walk in the park. Look, TT, you, you got to let that go. Look, I tell you what I'm gonna do. If you can give me something, something <laughs> listen, something I can use, I'll see if I can't get the Attorney General to cut you a deal. Come on, man. You want me to snitch? Well, give me a lawyer. Fine. But you can bet Freeway Ricky Ross and his pals don't care how much time you serve. What are you, 20 years old? By the time you get out the penitentiary, you'll be pushing 40. And if you don't know, son, I suggest you be real creative. Hold up. Man, I ain't lasting five minutes locked up with a snitch jacket on my back. Brothers will have me whack for sure. Look, we have a witness protection program. Once the attorney general is satisfied, we'd have your written testimony documented. You wouldn't even have to testify in open court. You will serve, what, two to four years in protective custody? Protective custody. You'll be given a new identity and relocated somewhere in the United States. Once we feel there's no more danger, you a free man. Snitch ain't worth shit where I come from. Look at it this way. You can do 20 years or you can swallow your pride. Cause pride ain't gonna do the time, you are. It's up to you. I didn't know this shit was that serious. 
Reality hit hard. TT was picked up on a fluke drug charge and immediately took a deal avoiding the standard 20 year term. He turned informant against all of us. They put him in the federal relocation program and the trip part about it, he used to live down the street from me. Watch yourself. Close gate 17. I got 10, Big D got 10, the governor got 20. Come on, real cheese, come on. Finally, no smoke, no smoke, come on, come on. No smoke. Big Loaf got 15. Conspiracy is a word with a broad meaning, and conspiracy was the charge. Our sentences ranged from 10 to 20 years. Four years went by. I thought I was history. Remember the high roller cop Solar and his crew? Well, it was time for their trial in downtown Los Angeles, and the government needed my help. Election time, 1987. The federal prosecutor had been investigating 35 corrupt cops. The shit was all in the paper. I was invited to cut a deal with the prosecutors. With less support and most of the freeway boys either in jail or doing bad on the streets, the word was I was hot and to stay away from me. I did all the talk shows, a day one series on ABC, and after they saw me on TV, nobody would come near me. The money was gone. Everyone went away. Blacks in Compton and surrounding cities who used their drug money and power to execute. Ricky, my friend, it's been a long time. I've missed you. What's up, man? Where you been? I'll get right to the point. I need you to help me one last time. Uh, I can't fuck around. All right, but can you introduce me to one of your guys? Anyone? This is important, Ricky. This is very important. I'm trying to do the right thing, man. I got... All right, let me get a number on you. Um, and... and... I'll phone you up if I change my mind, all right? All right, look, let me get a number on you. Um, and, and I'll phone you up if I change my mind, all right? So what makes you want to get off the game? I don't know, man. I lost my girl. My partner doing 15. Guess I just lost my love for this shit. I was at the house, kicking it, you know, at the crib, watching TV. See your face on the tube, and that shit tripped me the fuck out, Rick. Yeah. That's interviewing me for that theater. You know, I think that thing's gonna be big, man. It's gonna be big. I got so many ideas, man. So many ideas, so many things I wanna do. Positive. You know what I'm saying? I hear you, man, but for me, it's the only way I know how to get paid. I mean, shit, that's all I know how to do and shit. But I respect what you try to do for the community, you know, try to help the hood out and stuff. Yeah, well, you know what? When you get straight, you fill up a couple of more of them bags, you can help me out. So who this, who this fool you hooking me up with? His name's Oscar. 
and he is the man. You about to meet the motherfucker. He the connection. That's what got y'all niggas so rich. Why it take you so long to hook me up? <laughs> you know how that is, man. Come on, you know. You got a connection, you in the game. Yeah, damn. I didn't take you long time. <laughs> damn, you don't waste no time. <laughs> it's good to see you again. How you doing? All right. This is Pooh, the homie I was telling you about. Pooh, nice to meet you. What's up, man? You set it up there. Check it out. I think you're going to like this. Fucking hustler. Hustler, bitch nigga, I'm a hustler. Hustler, you don't hear me, I'm a hustler. Hustler, huh? They bangin' red and blue, they green dragon too. I'm a hustler. Hustler, bitch nigga, I'm a hustler. Hustler, you don't hear me, I'm a hustler. Hustler, huh? They bangin' red and blue, they green dragon too. A maniac staying black, just creepin' no gas. Make dough, I'm making dough, tryna collect my stash. Cause it's common freight, you proper bitch, I'm holding weight. A bled eye, keeping the count on dead guys. Shoot episode, these hardest hustle niggas reputable. Other fools unacceptable. They shouldn't hesitate, cause my full fifth get to elevate. Asking them hella straight, seeing when he ride by. And knowing only reason he's going, I let him slide by. Even if the situation looking cute, I'm scooped by troops. Niggas be hating somebody, I let them know it too. Point the finger, we done. Huh, I run all through, cool making funds when you know you number one. one But when you demonstrate, watch the fans, they trying to infiltrate But you bounce, till you get the rocks, you can skate We call them dates, toners, clowning like a bitch Hit the cone on them sick, gangsta apparel's a bobble Like it's barrel for a motherfucking hustler Hustler, you don't hear me, I'm a hustler Hustler, bitch nigga, I'm a hustler Hustler, huh, they bring it red and blue They green bragging too, cause I'm a hustler I'm a motherfucking hustler. Yeah, uh, you don't hear me, I'm a hustler. Huh. They paint it red and blue, they green dragon too, bitch. Ha, nigga, this hard as hustlers, motherfucker. Dutchy boy coming at you unlimited. Ha, yeah. my nigga Manson, you know I ain't handsome. Ha, ha, ha. Check him out. It's only cracking dope. Yeah. Ha. See Pizzle off the hizzle, off the no doubt. Ha, ha. Ron probably drinking that hen. What do you mean that I'm a slave to my trade? Do I got to be illegal because I'm down for getting paid? Money is green. That's what it takes for me to survive. In a world where we battle to be first in place by climbing up the ladder all the way to the top for my paycheck. Niggas that be joking will be broken, not knowing that. Money is the key for a G to pay his bills, man. When you gotta hustle, you control the way you play your game. I shoot the threes like dope about a slingshot. I'm a hard nigga in the game, came up on a job. Nine to five in it, the jokes to put some hype in it. Now I'm clocking in and I got no friends that I'm working with. And your car pulling, acting like a fool. Know the day is Friday, so I might just grab a 40, then I'll make friends with the ball in the benzo. Sucking up the currency as fast as the wind blows by. Waiting a lives away on the next payday to grab a sack and toss it up on county day. They say the life we live in is on a lower level. You free your mind from crime and your ass to follow. Waiting a lives away on the next payday to grab a sack and toss it up on county day. They say the life we live in is on a lower level. Free your mind from crime and your ass. Almost all of my life, I had to struggle and strive. Now, if I lose my life, will my mama be fine? I sent her through many things. Lord knows that I want to change. Now I'm looking at the graveyard while I'm slanging cane. Never was a coward. I never graduated from Howard. Surviving these streets and niggas know I didn't scholar. Doing everything from hitting licks to acting like a lunatic. Having homies in my house thinking my mama didn't know it. Even though she didn't show it. Hard time flashback. My little sister didn't told it. Now ain't that a bitch? My little sister's a snitch. And I'm fresh out of high school trying to get rich. And I'm just another product of that system shit And I'm rolling in the navy with the cherry tint Cause I get bent And I'm trying to make a dollar out of pocket of lint And moms won't rent So I'm gonna have to roll out like Larry Flint My lives away, only next pay day so Grab a sack and toss it up on county day They say the life we live in is on a lower level 
Free your mind from crime and your ass will follow waiting. Our lives away on the next payday. They grab a sack and toss it up on county day. They say the life we live in is on a lower level. Free your mind from crime and your ass will follow. Free your mind from crime and your ass will follow. It's the next right. payday. Especially when we come county from. day. Trying to make us some money. And out for that next payday. That's already. Got to Everybody's do what you trying do. to do it. <laughs> Everybody's doing it. It's payday, waiting our lives away. Count you ever stop and think about homies that you grew up with? Some of them was cool, but the rest of them was full of shit. Bits and pieces, they taught us about reality. Ended up in death or some other type of tragedy. It seemed to me, a nigga was always on his knees, especially while he was struggling day to day out in the fucking streets. The ones we kicked it with and cared for the most and shit will be the ones to come straight up ghost, I bet. I'm staying down. Trying to make some sense of this A nigga's laying low Cause another one tried to take his grip Who put him up to it To do it who put his mind through it Influence will be the young nigga's death kiss You take a test if you wanna be from the set We'll lay the path and you can follow in our footsteps Marching like a soldier coming up From the depths of hell Will you survive? Only God knows in time will tell Waiting our lives away On the next payday To grab a sack and toss it up on county day They say the life we live in is on a lower level You free your mind from crime And your ass will follow Waiting our lives away on the next payday to grab a sack and toss it up on